the tracks uh, are made of a couple of pieces of wood and there are several options that you can use one option here a uh, piece of track I've made I used a regular lumber 2x2 two two, uh, for part of it and then a piece of pine uh, 3 quarters thick by about uh, uh, 2 inches wide and the tracks set like this and uh, the wheel ends up rolling against this shoulder that's one method you can use another track type that I make um, I use a couple of pieces of plywood in fact the, the track setup that I have here um, has the plywood type of track either way works fine um, if you use a couple of pieces of plywood or molding um, just simply one sets on the other like this and you can either uh, use some glue and a few clamps or you can uh, put a few screws in it to hold it but that's really all that's required of the tracks and then <clears throat> with the tracks uh, they just are fastened to the end frames uh, right right here uh, either from screws in from the end or you can even use a little angle bracket a lot of flexibility now I want to show you how the rolls are, are made very simple <clears throat> basically you'll need a piece uh, you'll need three pieces of half inch diameter electrical conduit they come in the hardware store uh, looks just like this um, a 10 foot length at my Home Depot in Salt Lake is less than two dollars now here's the neat thing uh, you decide how wide you want your track how wide you want your frame you make your your two uh, track pieces and then you have your uh, conduit pieces cut uh, the 10 foot lengths are are great if you want a really wide frame but a lot of times it's nicer to have a narrower, narrower frame for smaller quilts uh, this frame that I use for like lap quilts and such is about 48 inches wide it makes a, a nice frame for kind of demoing the things I do now <clears throat> with the uh, uh, once you have your conduit selected the length you want um, you simply the, t uh, um, the supplied rod in has a thread and a coupling you simply slip it on the end you tighten one screw and that's it you're done that's all there is to the rolls with the exception that okay um, there it is with the handle on now um, let me show you you want a leader strip to attach to the roll of material so that you can attach your quilt to that um, and the leader strip I just use a simple piece of muslin or scrap material uh, maybe if you want to get fancy you can hem the uh, the ends of it a little bit but you can just set it up to the roll widths that you want um, I usually use a piece of uh, strong tape either like a duct tape or a little fiberglass reinforced tape tape it to the roll and you're done you're ready to mount your quilt to it in mounting the quilt I usually use like to use a safety pin uh, to just uh, pin the, the quilt to this rolls up um, the rolls you know go right on the frame and you're good to go so the reason that I supply the frame in kit version is that the cost to um, send the lengths of uh, either 2x2 two two or the plywood strips and also these long uh, half inch conduits, it costs more in postage than it costs to just uh, go up to your local hardware store, grab a couple of things and put it together. And the big advantage is, is this is so simple that you can have... Uh, you can make several sets of extra rolls so if you want to work on uh, different qui you know different quilts but maybe you want uh, to set one aside for a while but you don't want to have to uh, dismount it from the rolls hey you know a set of uh, extra rolls 
is less less than five bucks so five or you know say five six bucks in materials for a whole set of other rolls uh, how cool is that anyway thanks for taking a look at my frames uh